So you can come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Feel free to sit up on a blanket or cushion. And we'll begin with eyes closed or a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. And just give yourself the time you need to settle into your body, into just being here. Setting aside the busyness of your life. Feel what's touching the floor or your props. Lengthening all the way up past the top of your head. You might just check in with yourself often. What are you paying attention to right now? And probably for all of us, our minds will wander. That happens. So we can just make it a practice of noticing and then returning over and over. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus, and feel free to open or close your eyes as it's useful for you. Let's begin by taking the right arm up. We'll bend it straight back on itself so you touch the same shoulder. Grab hold of your elbow and then take it as far back as you can. Looking for a stretch, exploring. You're welcome to move or just bring your attention to different parts of your body. Each new shape sparking new things to notice. And then release, right arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close, and then as you do this, See if you can also draw back through your shoulders so you're still square across your chest, still sitting nice and tall. And then release arm out. Rotate your thumb to point down, bring it around behind your back, so back of your hand is at your waist. Interlace fingers at your waist, pull your knuckles around towards the front, elbows go towards one another, and then from here, circle your right shoulder, just exploring what might be creaky, tight. And then reach both arms back, open up the chest, and fold, whatever amount. So it may be just dropping your head, could be coming part way or all the way to the floor. Release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees. Drop your chin to your chest. 
And then roll your way back up. Let's recross the leg so the other leg is in front or on top. And then take the left arm up, bend it straight back on itself, grab your elbow, take it back. As you do this, drop the ribs, draw the belly in, and feel free to move around or see what you notice throughout your body. And then release arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, draw back through your left shoulder. Release arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top, knuckles towards the front, elbows towards one another, and then circle your left shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back, open up the chest, and then fold any amount. <sighs> and then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. roll your way back up. So let's come on to hands and knees, tabletop. If you want to pad your knees, feel free to grab a blanket or cushion for them. We'll take a few rolls through the spine. Start with hands right under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lift the head and tail, arching. Exhale, round, draw the belly in. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now, inhale, arch. Exhale, shift your weight forward, bend your elbows straight back and dip part way or all the way to the floor and press up from there. Round. Arch. Go forward to dip down. If going all the way down is too much, just go a couple of inches. And then press up from there. Round. Arch. Dip down. Press up. Round. Arch. One more time. Dip down. Press up. Round and then sink back to child's pose, releasing hips to the heels. Forehead to the floor. Letting the weight of your body sink. Let's lift back up to table and then step the right foot out to the right, toes turned out, and lean your hips over. A little or a lot, just exploring what it's like to be over here, stretching what's being stretched. And back to center and over to the other side. Step the left foot out, toes turned out, and then lean over. It doesn't have to look any certain way. You're just exploring being in your body, using this shape to highlight new things. And then back to center. Let's take the right foot out to the right again, toes turned out, and this time walk your hands around. We'll bring forearm to thigh and come into something like extended side angle. 
belly lifting, tail dropping. So you might look for a little opening at the front of the left thigh, uh, front of the left hip. And then take a couple big circles, reaching your arm back behind you as far back as you can. Let your next circle lift you up to something like warrior two. So just like the standing pose, but on the knee. Again, belly lifting, tail dropping, arms reach long. Then push into the right foot to come up and tip over into a variation of side plank, Vashustasana. Pull up through the top hand, so you're just very lightly touching the floor with your bottom hand, rolling open through the top hip. You're welcome to stay here. I'll offer two more variations on this side, but you can stay here if you prefer. So one option is to float your leg. So it's like half moon on the knee, going towards long straight lines, one arm to the other, head to foot. And then last option is to bend the top leg, reach for your foot and kick your foot into your hand. A little bit of a back bend, shoulder opener. It's a balancing pose. So if you need to stabilize, feel free to look down. That might be a little more stable. And then we'll reverse what we did to come out of it, coming through half moon, foot to the floor, like side plank, rise up, warrior two, forearm to thigh, extended side angle, and then curve your way back to center, walking your hands and knees back to neutral, tabletop. Same thing other side, step the left foot out to the left, walk your hands around, forearm to thigh, extended side angle, check, belly lifting, tail dropping, and then start to circle your left arm, uh, your right arm back behind you, biggest circle possible. Noticing what's being stirred up. Let this next circle lift you up to something like warrior two. Hips low, knee open, arms long, but shoulders drop. Push into your foot to come up and tip over. Side plank, Vashistasana, pulling up through the top hand, Rolling open through the top hip. Either stay here or float your leg to hip height like half moon. You can bend the top leg, reach for your foot, kick your foot into your hand, only doing what works for you. Feel free to skip what doesn't work, change what doesn't work. release coming through half moon foot to the floor side plank rise up warrior two forearm to thigh extended side angle and then curve back around back to table and then back to child's pose letting go of all of that settling back in Just keep coming back to slow, steady breaths. With arms out in front of you, you can walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And back to center. <sighs> Lift up through table and come back to a downward facing dog. 
And take your time getting into this first down dog. You might paddle out your feet a little bit, bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. Waking up calves, hamstrings. Walk your hands and feet towards one another, and let's hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. Feel free to take a little sway or shake out here. Bend your knees a little more and slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. And we'll step up to the front of the mat, coming to mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet can be together or apart. We'll bring hands together at the heart. And let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen part way up. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Come into your back bend and let's take an extra couple breaths here. Low or high, cobra or up dog. And then back to down dog when you're ready. And you can rest in down dog or any other neutral shape. Feel free to take child's pose, sitting on your forearms, knees. Feeling where you are now. Last deep breath in and out. Let's come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back. Lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up. Bend your knee in and start circling this bent right knee. You could also do this from tabletop or from your forearms. Customizing everything you're doing so that it works for your body now. And we're all doing that the best we can, limited by what we understand and are able to do. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then Bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Take a big step forward. Let's take a low lunge. We're going to drop the back knee. Feel free to pad it. If you have something you want to put under it, you could even roll up the side of your mat and maybe adjust the distance between your legs. And take that front foot a little further forward or the back knee a little further back. You may want to grab blocks for your hands. Looking for an opening at the front of the left hip by dropping the tail, lifting through the belly. 
keep the hips sinking low. And then we'll just take one breath, sweeping the arms up, inhale. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor, make your way to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, high to low push up. Up dog or cobra to down dog. You could also simply step back or add your own movement. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times, pulling the hips up and back as you do. Take your leg a little higher, and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. Low lunge. And set it up how it works for you, adding props, padding, adjusting the distance between your legs. Feeling your breath. Keep the hips sinking forward. Next inhale, sweep the arms high. Release, hands to the floor. Make your way back to a good resting pose. Taking any transition and any neutral shape to rest in. Down dog is one option. There's child's pose, sitting, anything you'd like. Something that allows you to come back to presence and ease. Last breath here. Let's come back through down dog. And step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's bend the knees and come into chair, Utkatasana. Feel how your weight is distributed between your toes and your heels. See if you can even it out. Getting as long a spine as possible. Shoulders dropping so the neck is long. One more breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, one breath. Step forward, low lunge, drop the back knee. Arms up, one breath. Release hands to the floor or blocks if you have them. Come back for a hamstring stretch with a top of the ankle stretch. So adjust your hands so they're right under your shoulders as high as you need them. Hips right above the back knee, going towards hip square, towards a flat back, towards that right foot flat. And you may not get all of these things exactly. We're just going towards in order to meet edges. So finding your edges, breathing there. 
something lets off, you might go a little deeper. To release, let's shift forward, come into a high lunge, tuck the back toes, extend the back leg straight, and then we'll set up for a twist. Left hand can stay on the floor or your block. Lift the right arm up, going towards a straight line from one arm to the other. See if you can also look for the connection between the top of your head and your back heel. So your torso is nice and long, connected to that back leg. Last breath here. Release, hands to the floor. We'll make our way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. You might move in some other way. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up. Step forward, low lunge. Drop the back knee, arms up, one breath. Release, hands to the floor or to your blocks. Come back for a hamstring stretch with a top of the ankle stretch. Hips above the back knee, hands right under shoulders, foot towards flat. Feeling around within the pose. Shift your weight forward, setting up for a high lunge twist. Tuck the back toes, extend the back leg straight. Right hand stays on the floor of the block. Open up through the top shoulder, extending left arm high. Straight long line, one arm to the other. Head to the back heel. Last breath here. Release, hands to the floor. Make your way back to down dog. And then back to a good rest, letting go of all of that. Keep coming back to ease. You wanna establish this feeling of surrender and ease so it's so familiar. Like a deep groove that's easy to slip into. <sighs> Let's come back through down dog. And into a pigeon pose, right side, slide the right knee forward. Scoot back through the left leg. Help the hips get as low as they'll go. You may experiment with props, something under the hips, the chest, the forehead. Releasing the weight of your body towards the floor.
Let's bring the upper body back up. Take your time. If you have something under your right hip, move it out of your way so you can lean to the right, swing the back leg around to the front, and then lean over to the left and send the right leg back. Finding your way to a good pigeon pose on the left side. You might need to adjust the angle, adjust your props. Find the support that suits you for your upper body so you can be at ease through the shoulders, the neck. Take your time coming back up. Move out any props that are in your way so you can lean to the left. This time bring your right foot to the outside of the left knee. Getting set up for a seated spinal twist. And you can also do this with the bottom leg straight if that would work better for you. We'll bring the right hand to the floor behind us. Left arm either hugs or hooks. As you inhale, sit a little taller. As you exhale, rotate a little bit more, looking back over the shoulder. And keep feeling the sit bones into the floor and lengthening up away from that. So really tall spine as you twist. Last breath here. Release, unwind, and switch. Bottom leg straight or bent. Left hand to the floor behind you. Right arm hugs or hooks. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist, and keep going. Breath by breath, even more height, even deeper twist. Last breath here. Let's release. Let's come to Baddha Konasana. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. If you want to sit up on something, feel free to put a little lift under the hips. We'll grab the toes or ankles with that grip, lengthen and fold. Elbows can push into the legs to help them open. Or if it works better, you could lean into your hands or elbows. Keep exploring. Since we do these same poses over and over again, there is the possibility of taking it for granted that I know this and checking out. And there's the option of continually being curious. What is there to notice or feel here now? Let's bring the upper body back up. Keep the right leg more or less where it is. Open the left leg out, gate pose, parigasana. Right arm up and over. 
And you can lean on to your left hand or elbow on the inside or outside of that straight leg. Keep going towards length. Even through the bottom side of the torso. All four sides of the torso, nice and long here. The back of the neck, nice and long. And then let your head fall towards the floor. Take the top arm out and down until your shoulder pulls down, stretching right side of the neck. Keep your head hanging as you push into the bottom hand to help you up, and then use that hand to help lift your head, staying nice and relaxed. Let's go to the other side. Switch the legs. Left arm up and over. Big yawning reach. And then let your head fall towards the floor. Take the top arm out and down until the left shoulder pulls down. Press into the bottom hand to come up and then use that hand to help lift your head. Open both legs wide. Upavishtikonasana, wide angle pose. Feel free to slide a little something under the hips to help keep the pelvis upright. You can also use your hands on the floor behind you. Feet flexed, pointing straight up the whole time. Feel free to stay upright or lean forward. But prioritize that the back is nice and long. Keep going towards length, and if you can keep that length and go a little further forward, you can Try and find exactly where your edge is, moment by moment. So at any time, you might back out a little or you might go a little deeper. Let's bring the upper body back up. Lean back onto your hands. Draw the legs in, give them a little shake out, and then roll back onto your back. Let's bring both knees in. A little massage for the lower back, the sacrum. And then we'll get set up for a couple back bends, and you can choose how many and which ones and how long you stay in each one. Let's start with bridge just to test the waters, and then you can take it where you like from there. So feet hip width apart, parallel. Make sure your feet are right under your knees, and then press your feet down. Lift the hips up. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back. You can. Kind of rock side to side, shrugging the shoulders underneath you. Spreading the upper back, lower back away from one another. Whenever the pose feels complete, Come down 
and rest and rest until you feel like coming up again. If you don't feel like coming up again, just enjoy the rest. There's no should about it. If you do come up, take any backbend you know or want to try, including supported bridge, supported fish, wheel. Could be just one or two breaths, could be a long hold. Each time you come down and rest, that could be the end. You'll know because you don't feel like coming up again. So if you are still backbending, no need to rush. Take the time you need. If you are done, move on to a counter stretch. Happy baby's a great one. Maybe there's something else you feel like doing. Especially right now as we move towards the end of class, a good time to just do exactly what you want to do spent the last bit of time getting in your body, feeling around. So you might be more in tune to your needs. Could be a yoga pose you've been taught. Could be something you're making up in this moment. You might take an inversion. You might take a restorative pose. You may want to finish with a twist. Each time you finish something, just, again, ask what's needed now. And when nothing else is needed, you can start getting as comfortable as you can in your final resting pose. You may want to do a little self-massage. You may want to adjust your clothing or grab props. Take your time getting comfortable. Eventually settling into stillness and letting go completely. Letting go of any tension in the face. Letting the full weight of your body release back.
releasing the control of your breath. So you're just breathing, no effort. You can slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles. And then take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today.